This Florida cooking segment is brought to you by Fresh from Florida. Remember, delicious is always served fresh from Florida. Hey, Chef's got an amazing recipe for Amberjack. That's right, it's Latin spice, it's got corn relish and cilantro oil. You're gonna love it. Chef and I are at the Tampa Shrimp Docks here at Versace Shrimp Company. And Chef, take it in. I mean, absolute gorgeous setting here. It really is. I mean, this is where the magic happens. These guys go out, catch shrimp, bring it back here, all kinds of seafood. From here, it goes out all over the United States, all over the world. That's right. Through their hard work, we get to enjoy amazing seafood. And that's what Florida's all about. And we're out here on this dock. It's a beautiful day here in Tampa. And Chef, we are working with Amberjack. That's right, Amberjack. I've caught a lot of Amberjack. Don't have a lot of experience cooking it. You know, Amberjack is a little bit of a stronger fish than say yeah. maybe your snapper or your grouper. So it'll really hold up to these stronger flavors that we're gonna pair with it today. A delicate fish like snapper or grouper is so wonderful on its own that you really don't need to do a whole lot to it. But some fish with a stronger flavor, you know, you might wanna add a little more spice to it okay. or pair it with things that have a stronger flavor. So Amberjack is a strong fighting fish. We're gonna put some strong flavors on That's there. That's right. Chef, show us what we're doing. Let's do it. All right, we got our pans on medium high here. They're nice and preheated. Let's go ahead and take our Amberjack fillets here. Now I've got a Latin spice mix that I've already made. A little cumin, coriander, chili pepper, paprika. It's good, huh? And I'm not really going to be shy here. I'm going to get this. Yeah, it's more of a rub there. Yeah, it chef? really is. Rubbing it in there. All right. I'm just going to put some oil in my hot pan. All right, get these fillets in here. I love that here. technique you do there. Mm. All right, so we got our Great Florida sweet corn here. So I want you to go ahead and take the kernels off for me. Wait a minute, one at a time, what am I doing here? This is a five minute segment here, Chef. Why aren't you cutting? Give me a tool, give go. me something to work with. Okay. Here. <laughs> Good luck with that. What is this? This uh, You want to use a serrated knife, I found is the best way to take the kernels off the cob. There you go, you want to lay it down flat? Yep, just like that. Very good. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more oil. And I'm gonna get my onion going. You want the roots or just the tops? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then my Florida sweet peppers are going in. Let that cook. All right, let's go ahead and give our fish a flip. Ooh, yum. Nice and crispy. All right, so our peppers are good. Yeah, yeah, let's get it in. All right, here we go. Beauty. Not bad, not bad. Nice and sweet. Right in the bottom. And then, well, we got popcorn. Yeah, something popping. Was that, that what that was? Ooh, you're, can, I, can I do a Yeah, snack? yeah, go ahead. Give okay. it a try. Give it a try. So I want you to judge me for height. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna try to go high. At the same time, I'm going to try to keep the coin in the <laughs> okay, pan, okay? okay? He's getting don't a little make, nervous. Don't make too much of a mess, He's please. Get, hey, okay? We're out here on a shrimp dock. We just sweep it off, okay? We're fine. Okay. Six, oh, eight inches. You lost four kernels. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. I'm trying to get at least a foot. <laughs> All right, not bad, not okay, bad, I'm not bad. Away. I'm walking away. Pretty good. Walking away. Pretty good. This smells really good. You can yeah. smell the corn nice and that sweet kind of aroma. And then you've got this, this spicy kind of strong. What, what do you got going Well, on you there? keep getting the, you got the corn in the wrong pan is here. It's popping. And it's popping. Okay, do we need goggles on or are we going to be okay? Yeah, I think we'll be okay. All right, so our corn's almost done. So lastly, we're just going to add a little scallion. A little bit of cilantro. Mm. Wind's picking up out here. It is. Cilantro going in. <laughs> just spread it. Just spread it around on the board there. Don't worry. <laughs> I think we can take our corn. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna put this down. Now, do you eat on plates like this at your house, Chef? Or is this yeah, I have funky plates at my house. Okay, we got our filet of oh, amberjack. That is amazing. Chef. Get on there. It's like a big piece of plantain. Look at that. Oh. And now what I have here is a little bit of cilantro oil, simply cilantro and olive oil that I've immersioned up in my immersion blender, or you can use a regular blender. Just a little bit of oil and a little bit of cilantro. You want your little corn in there? <laughs> I don't want that corn in there. It's just a little, just a pop. It looks good. It smells good. Chef, what you've done here, the corn, you've got all kinds of stuff going on down here as a bed. And then you've got just a beautiful looking amberjack, a lot of Latin spices in there. It looks great. 
That's right. Really nice, simple dish with lots of bold flavors. Man. Really yummy. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it too. Good stuff, Chef. Mm -hmm. Really good fish. For this recipe and many more like it, go to howtodoflorida.com. This Florida cooking segment was brought to you by Fresh from Florida. Remember, delicious is always served fresh from Florida.